Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna move on to the Low Pro flip side AW2. Um, this is an awesome bag. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. It, uh, it holds all of my gear, all of my photography gear, all of my vlogging gear, and it has plenty of room to expand. So we're gonna move on to the bag and start talking about it. We're gonna do the front first. The front of the bag has this big zipper pouch here on the front. And inside is a sleeve here where I keep my handkerchiefs and my, um, I can't remember what you call those things now. I can't remember. Buff, that's it, is a sleeve for a, um, probably about a 10 inch iPad. You could get one even smaller for that. It has other pockets here. I keep my hand warmers, toe warmers. It has a ring connection here where I have my tripod tools, other little tools, my um, Pro Capture um, little tool, which actually works great for my tripod too, uh, pens, pencils, um, shower caps for covering the front of my lens, it misty conditions or waterfalls, other little tools, big pouch that goes to the bottom here. I have my... Um, mind shift ground cover in there. I've put extra scent straps. I've had my lunch in here. I've had a jacket in here, gloves. It really does hold quite a bit. Lens cleaning stuff and memory cards, all in this one. The other part about the front of the bag is on the very bottom. Here is a little Velcro pouch. And inside is the pocket or your tripod legs here. And then at the very top of the bag, underneath this Velcro is the cinch strap for the top of your tripod that goes underneath your tripod head to cinch it to the bag. Now this bag differs from the first version which I had and returned because I didn't realize it at the time it had a tear in the bottom. The original one came with a little loop here in the front that had a strap, and you could strap your tripod that way as well. I really wish this bag had that, but it doesn't. On the sides, you have big pockets. This is a pretty big size pocket. Um, it'll hold about a one liter bottle, um, your tripod legs. This did not come with the bag. This is actually part of the mind shift system um, that I swap back and forth between bags, but it has mollies here on the side so that you can attach any type of a bag or anything. Like on this side, I have my filter holder attached and this just fits down inside here. Um, I do not use view filters. This is just a bag that I found that holds all my filters. Um, most of mine are generic. And then I have my little um, extension pole for the GoPro and a Joby inside this pouch here. So there's lots of room in here for you to put things. If you don't strap your tripod to the front, you can put your tripod on the side. You can also put your tripod across the top. There are two cinch straps here on the sides and I've seen people lay their tripod across and then strap it this way. I haven't tried that yet. Um, the top of this is pretty form fitting but there is camera gear here. Big, sturdy, sturdy um, handle here that you can grab onto. Now, the suspension strap, the shoulder straps to this. Extremely comfortable. Love, love, love this system. That's why I like it so much and I got a second one after the first one broke is because this is the first bag I've carried that doesn't kill my shoulders. They're extremely well padded. Um, they don't hurt, they fit really well, especially for a woman because, you know, we have a hard time getting anything to fit us here that doesn't pinch or poke or bind, and it hurts. These actually fit really, really well. The chest strap fits well. Again, it does not have an emergency whistle. Like I said in a previous video, for me, I needed one when I fell off of that cliff many years ago and didn't have one. So, <laughs> yeah, I needed that. Um, it has uh, two little loops 
here. There are no metal rings or anything. This is your attachment points here. These two little things here. Um, I wish it had metal rings to attach to, but that's not a big deal. Waist strap. Awesome. Again, I'm a hippie girl. I'm not a small girl. And these are very, very comfortable. The belt does not come off. It attaches to the bag. Um, it has the molly loops here again so that you can attach you know like your if you wanted to put your filters here or you know like me that has the think tank bags you can attach a small think tank bag here for your cell phone your wallet your car keys whatever you want it also has the cinch strap attached to cinch it closer to your back so that it's sitting on your hips and not your shoulders um, which makes it a lot more comfortable in the very bottom is this pocket which holds your rain cover it does come with one it does not detach it is actually sewn into the bag so there's no chance you're going to put it on your bag take it off and unlike me leave it in the woods yeah if you want photography gear just follow behind me i leave everything behind um the back is very well padded uh, when i had the other one i wore it for four hours at nelson's ledges and I didn't sweat at all. It had great ventilation. It was awesome. It was a very, very comfortable bag. The inside, the only thing I don't like about getting in and out of this bag is this, where the zippers are located. They're under here. So you have to reach underneath this little strap to grab your zips. Then when you get to this side, you gotta push it under. And that is like a poor design. It makes no sense why they would do that. Not a clue but they did. So this is the, my gear is all in here. This is the inside of the bag, okay? This comes with it. This whole little pouch comes with the bag. It tears out. So you can actually take this out and adjust your space in here to put whatever you want. If you want, you put your drone in here or whatever, you can just stick that right in top. I have my accessories, um, battery charger, things like that inside of here. And it just Velcros right back into place very easily. The dividers are thick. They're not too thick though. They're not heavy and thick, but they do divide in three places. Um, let's see if I can get this up without dumping this out. They do divide in three places, so you can pretty much adjust this however you want to. This little orange pouch zipper thing here actually Velcros open. So it's a pouch by itself, and I have my lens caps and things down inside of there. Um, I've got everything in here. This bag um, holds, like I said, it holds my photography gear except for two lenses, um, my 75 to 300, and um, another lens that I have, my little Loa 7.5. Um, but it will hold all my, it does hold all my vlogging gear. It does hold everything that I need. On the back panel here, you have, oops, sorry guys, I'm trying to adjust this. You have a pocket here, like a sleeve, that is actually designed for a laptop. Now you cannot fit a 15 inch laptop in here. This will only hold a 13 inch laptop. I tried to put my 15 inch laptop in here and it was extremely tight and it got down to about right here and stopped. Um, there are three mesh pockets here for memory cards, don't use them for that. I use them for my batteries, for my smaller cameras, uh, my GoPro, my TG5, Olympus TG5, and my Sony that's recording right now. This is a big zipper pocket where I keep my manuals, my notebook. All right, sorry about that guys. The battery in my vlogging camera died. So as I was saying, in this pocket I have my flash diffuser for my TG5, I have my cords for my charging um, for my cameras and everything, my phone, I have the cable for my um, GoPro for sound, uh, I have my manuals, my, um, my notepad, all of that fits perfectly in here along with my compass. So I mean this pocket is pretty deep, it's, it's pretty deep. Um, and when you close this, it doesn't interfere with the inside of the bag at all. The um, the bag is 
for what it holds, it's very lightweight. Um, I, it doesn't, it's very comfortable to carry. I really, really love this bag. Uh, but like I said, I'm <laughs> always in the search for the perfect bag. The uh, other thing is, is on the bottom, just like there is on the Tamarack, there's a handle here. And I'm not sure what this is for. I don't know if it's for something for the airport or if you want to carry it like this. I have no idea what that's for. Um, so if anybody knows, leave me a comment. Let me know what the heck that is. But otherwise, um, it has a little loopy thing here so that if you're in the strong, in strong winds and you have a hook on your center column on your tripod, you can actually hang your camera bag from your tripod and that will add weight to your tripod to help keep it steady in strong winds or high winds. I've done that multiple times here on Lake Erie and it works really, really well. The only thing is, is if you have a light camera bag, all your gear's out and you hang it, it's going to be like this. So you got to have um, a little bit of a bigger bag. That's pretty much the Low Pro um, AW502. It's a great bag. Uh, it fits well. It works well. It holds all my gear. Um, the only thing I, you know, putting a lunch in it or a thermos for soup or anything like that, it's not the most ideal hiking bag. But otherwise, it is a great bag. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, click subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notifications of new videos. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Just please, if you do, let me know what you don't like. I can't change anything or give you information that you don't tell me what you need. So let me know, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.